microphones. We need some more volume on the microphone first. as well as the president-elect in the company of His Excellency the Vice President, who is also the Vice President-elect. To give us a quick Christian prayer. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, maker of heaven and earth, and all that is in it, may your name be glorified this day. We thank you for the light of today, and we thank you for this, our assembly, and for all that you have endowed upon us. May your holy name be praised. Father, we thank you for the person you have given us, President of the Republic, and also now President-elect. We thank you for his vice, Vice President Al-Haji Mahamudu Baumia. We thank you for their wives, the women you have given them to accompany them in accomplishing great things. May your holy name be praised. We thank you for all the faithful workers, all the faithful companions, all those who have struggled so hard to serve these men in the first of house and uh, the Jubilee House and beyond. That Lord, this government will shine. May in your name be praised. And mighty Father, at this moment, we thank you particularly for this sweet victory today. It's you who has done it. And we are praising your name for it. Lord, all their plans are in your hands. All the plans of the party, represented by the party chairman and secretary here right now, are in your hands. We pray that you glorify yourself in them, morning, noon, and night. And when all is said and done, may greater victories be achieved in the future. For we ask all these in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you.
Mr. Speaker, may I ask you all to resume your seats and shall we have some silence here? Shall we have some silence here as we prepare to hear from His Excellency the President and now the President-elect? Shall we have some silence, please? Ladies and gentlemen of the media, fellow Ghanaians, a few minutes ago, what was known by me, and indeed by many, many Ghanaians, was announced by the returning officer of the presidential election, the chairperson of the Electoral Commission. Mrs. Jean Mensah, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, together with Al Haji Muhammadu Bawumia, have been given four more years by the Ghanaian people to do more for them. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. In our system, it is the Electoral Commission that has the constitutional responsibility of declaring the will of the people in an election. Prior to this declaration by the EC Chairperson, I received personal congratulatory messages from some of my fellow presidential candidates in the election 7 December express my appreciation to them and thank them for helping to ensure that the race was largely a keen, exciting contest of ideas whose ultimate goal was the growth and development of Mother Ghana as well as the improvement of the living standards of the Ghanaian people. Fellow Ghanaians, I must at the outset give thanks to Almighty God for his continued mercies and for granting my party, the new patriotic party and I, this all important win. It has been a hard fought one, which has resulted in an incontestable result and we are duly grateful for how far he has brought us. We were confident at the beginning of the campaign that the considerable amount of work we had done since coming into office in 2017 would secure for us four more years in office. And the declaration made by the returning officer has set us on that path. For that, I'm extremely grateful to you, fellow Ghanaians, for this victory. I am deeply humbled again by your show of confidence and I do not take this lightly. There could be that tendency for an incumbent president who has just secured a second term in office to, as it were, take it easy and relax because there's nothing more to lose or prove. I am of a different character. Just as I have been doing since January 2017, I give you my word that I will continue to work very hard to build the prosperous and progressive Ghana for which we yearn. The decisive margin of victory in this election constitutes for me an endorsement of the policies and programs initiated by my government and put before the electorate. And I'm determined to do all in my power to accomplish the tasks of this new mandate and thereby justify the confidence reposed in me. I assure you, fellow Ghanaians, that I'll do my best not to let you down. The period for campaigning is over and the outcome of the election has been decided. The Ghanaian people through the results, have made it loud and clear that the two parties, the MPP and NDC, must work together, especially in Parliament, for the good of the country. Now is the time.
for each and every one of us, irrespective of our political affiliation, to unite, join hands, stand shoulder to shoulder, and work hard to place Ghana where she deserves to be, a prosperous and dynamic member of the global community, making her own unique contribution to the growth of world civilization. My immediate task will be to continue with the process of reversing the effects COVID-19 has had on our economy and on our lives and put the nation on course for full economic recovery and development. Before the pandemic struck, Ghana in recent years was one of the fastest growing economies in the world. I give you my word, we will regain that reputation. <laughs> Fellow Ghanaians, I say a big aiko to the chairperson, deputy chairpersons, commissioners, directors, returning officers, electoral officers, and the agents of our respective political parties for delivering one of the best elections, if not the best, ever witnessed in our history, which is one universal acclaim. The Electoral Commission, even in the midst of the pandemic, has done a yeoman's job, and we can only urge them on to continue along the path and achieve even greater strides in future. The orderly, commendable, and peaceful conduct of Ghanaians on election day is to be widely applauded. The high rates of adherence to COVID-19 protocols on the day ensure that the exercise passed off safely. To the security services, who ensure the peace and safety of the process, Ghana will forever be in your debt. Your role has been invaluable in preserving law and order. And lastly, but by no means the last, the praise of the nation goes to the media for the extensive coverage provided before, during and after the conduct of the polls. I also say a big thank you to the domestic and international election observer teams that have been in our country for the period of the election for their concern. I condemn in no uncertain terms the isolated incidents of post-electoral violence in Odododiodio and Techiman that led to a few regrettable deaths. May their souls rest in peace. We must work to avoid the repetition of such events in future. I thank the national, regional, constituency, electoral area, and polling station executives, elders, and members of my party, the New Patriotic Party, and all the volunteer groups who canvassed so effectively for us for their successful efforts. MPP supporters should understandably celebrate and jubilate, but desist from untoward acts. At the end of the day, despite holding different political views, we should all remember that we're all part of one family, one Ghanaian family, with a common overriding agenda, which is to oversee the growth and development of Mother Ghana. Let us continue to conduct ourselves with decorum and maintain the peace and stability of the nation, which is the envy of many around the world. To the Ghanaian people, I say that the work ahead is to advance further the peace, progress, and prosperity of our nation for all. And that is my solemn pledge to each one of you. The battle is the Lord's. May the God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And before Mr. President takes leave of us, we'll take a Muslim prayer from the Minister for Inner Cities and Zongo Development.